upgrade. Like I said in my other video that's coming out, an iPhone. And you know when you get a new phone, you just lost everything. So maybe that's why you haven't heard from me. I've been down in the dump. <laughs> Not for long. I've been hiding from work. You know, I, what I want? An interracial job. Mm -hmm. Spice up my life. Because, um, hmm, that sounds good, right? Interracial job. Today I want to speak on losing your job what to do if you're you've lost your job in nursing you know back in the days i had like six or seven jobs in nursing before 9 11 i would quit a job don't say goodbye and just walk away and i think i did Early on, I did a video on this, but I want to talk about it again. I would just lose the job, quit. I have this ability to know if I'm going to get fired, I'm going to fire the job first. You know, there's a right, what do they call it? The right to know your rights is, somebody will tell me in the comment, what is it? You have, it's a right something, another state, right to work. So they can get rid of you just like that. And I'm pretty sure Georgia is, um, take advantage of that immediately. Just by, they can just fire you for anything. Don't give you any reason. Don't like you want their family and friends to come in to take the job. Yeah, it happens. But anyway, so I didn't think nothing of it back then when I was younger and just wanted many a job and didn't like the job. The another thing is that's what nursing is about. You have several choices. If you want to be a clinic nurse, go for it. If you go into clinic nurse and you don't like clinic nurse, go to a correction. You can explore and do a lot of things in nursing. A lot of people, you don't have to be stuck in med surge. They say, get your med surge when you get out of school. How many nurses are doing it? They come in, well, special nurse gets to what they want. They get to go into ICU and they get to go in the ER, the guys, but may not be you, you know. You know what I mean? I don't want any flags, but you know what I mean. Certain people get their choice, but the majority of us has to work hard to get in the door of our what we want. If your goal is to become an emergency nurse, you're going to be competing with a lot of um, Caucasian that may get the job. I'm going to be honest with you. That may get the job. It's, it's um, very competitive. ER, ICU, mother baby, OBGYN, NICU. You never really, those jobs are locked down for life mm -hmm. so but the good thing about nursing is that you get to explore and then you find your comfort space i will go to med search and i will go to rehab and i back in the days i wanted to be a mother baby nurse but the doors were not as open it's probably open now because a lot of older nurse, nurses are retiring. But now I'm enjoying being a psych nurse. I know a lot of people, they look up, they put their nose up. Oh, a psych nurse. What is that? I don't want to work in psych. I don't want to get beat up. 
So, you may not like psych. It, it can be stressful. Back in the days, everyone say, oh, go to psych. Psych is easy. Psych is not easy. Nothing is easy in nursing. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you lost your job, there's many others opening. The key to it is, don't let them fire you. I would suggest if you're a new nurse, just resign. Resign. If you have a feeling that you're going to get fired or you did something, if it cannot be, you know, something that... Just resign. That's all I can say. Just resign and start over. But resigning gets you more closer to the next door. But if you get fired or you walk away, quit... You cannot use that as a reference. And the reason why I'm saying that is, like I said, I made many mistakes in my life. When I was LPN, RN, I worked several places and not thinking the 21st century, not think in 2018, 2016, that these companies were going to merge. And when they merge, they still have your records, whether you believe it or not. So if you had quit from the other job, it follows you. And I had an incident when I was here looking for a job in, in Atlanta, trying my best to get in the door. The company, I found out the company I work for in Philadelphia had a new facility here, but some I had quit there in Philadelphia and it followed me here. So um, I want you to be very careful. And if you do lose your job, sometime losing your job, this is how I look at life. And this is how I look at me losing a job. If if it comes to the point where whether I had to quit or I had to resign or terminate it, I look at it as that this door may be closed and some others will open for me. And it usually is. It, you, I remember when I got here in Georgia, I had a job. I was a nursing supervisor at, and it was a particular facility, I won't say, in Atlanta. And I really, the money was right, and the situation was right. But I got into, a, um, I was in a relationship at that time. And this is the lesson that I said that I learned. Never having a relationship on the job. Mm -mm, it doesn't work. But it was something that I had to learn. And I had to learn it the hard way. And I made a decision that I had to go. I, I can't stay in a situation like that because I found out the person was going with somebody else on the job. It doesn't look good for me. In other words, I don't mean that it doesn't look good. It's as a supervisor and I don't like to get caught up in confusion. I don't like to get caught up in drama, especially work drama. So I decided to, you know, resign. That was my opinion, my decision to resign. It was good money, whether or not you have to make a decision whether you want to stay in the drama or just move on. And I decided to move on. It works out better because other doors open. Ended that relationship, other doors open for me and I moved on. So don't think losing your job is always a negative. That's what I want to say to you. You lost the job. Don't be so down. Maybe you need that rest. You ever thought of that? I've been resting for a whole week. Don't care. 
And matter of fact, when I worked, I think I worked every day in September. And September 30th, I said when it closed to September 30th, I was going to take off. I didn't give them any schedule. They kept asking me, Patrice, you haven't given us your schedule. And I looked and I smiled to myself because I knew I was going to take off because I was tired. They call. But just because they call, you don't jump. And I'll tell you why. Because nurses, you have to reach that point in your life. You have to think about your health. You can't work, work, work. Because say a hey, the more you say yes to them, the more they'll use you. Fill that slot. Instead of why should I hire somebody? Patrice can come in all hours. Flexible. Call her. She'll jump. She don't have a life. That's what they think. I bust their bubbles, didn't I? Wednesday. I said, mm -mm. no, ma'am. For that money, no, ma'am. Not even the money. The money was okay, but I just didn't feel like going. I'm still home. I remember I, I looked in the cupboard and I said, oh, I still got bread and butter. And I could put a little rice on the pot and I put a little butter. And you remember when back in the days we eat rice and butter when the chickens wasn't around and there was no meat? Rice and butter. And some lemonade. <laughs> I wasn't even sweating. I wasn't even thinking that about them. Because I had food in the cupboard. Now. Now. Don't you need the money, Patrice? Huh? Do I look African? And that ain't no joke. I am not going into that work. And I stayed home and I'm so rested. So, what I want to say to you is don't worry so much about losing a job. Find time to recuperate get your mind your frame of mind in order drink some tea girlfriend guys just sit back and relax catch up on the on your latest show and just go to bed whatever time you want and you'll feel better when you get to work now like I said, I'm not working in an interracial job. So sometimes when you do like I do, take off for a week. They take two or three weeks to get you back on board because they, I think they spiteful. I don't know how it is, but that's how I feel. Because they say, oh, she want to be off. She can't be off. I'm a, I'm a fixer. I'm going to make sure she stay off. And then so so when the bread is all gone, the bread is crusted up and you throw it away and you have no more butters and the rice is no longer there and you can't eat, then you calling them sweating. No, honey, I'm not going to reach that point. <laughs> I'm comfortable where I'm at. I find something. And you know, to be honest, they know that jobs are harder now. Back in the days, I would jump, jump, jump. Yeah, I'm going here. The nurse would say, Patrice, this is here. This job pay more. You should go here and then I'll be running. I don't do that no more. I don't do it no more. I don't know if it's 9-11 why everything changed, but everything changed now. I just go to, well, I still go to the nursing home. I haven't been able to get there yet in a while, but I'm still on their roster whenever they need me. So my job is very demanding. And if you, but you need your break. That's all I want to say.